What is up, my brothers and sisters in Christ? So today, uh, I'm going to teach a little bit about what the Bible is. If someone asks me to give a short answer of what the Bible is, I would say it is human history written from the eyes of God. Also, there's a whole list of things that it, it is. So, The Bible is the inspired word of God. Inspired means breathed in, which is like God guided the writers of the books. The next bullet point, inherit. Inherit means it is always teaching the truth. Therefore, the Bible is written without error. The Bible is the divine word of God, which is basically God speaking to us and being like, hey, here's, um, here's what you do, <laughs> like, you know? So going with, like, along with the bullet point of divine word of God, it's when you're reading the Bible, you slowly get to know this author behind the Bible. And who's ultimately the author of the Bible? The one and only Lord God above all. So not only are you reading a book, you're also reading the divine words of God. Divine is being of God. Like when you're reading scripture, you're listening or hearing the word of God being spoken to you through the words and texts of the Bible. The Bible is human history told by God. So as it was being written over thousands of years, um, God communicated to the authors in that inspired word. He breathed into them and guided them, guided their hand to write what he wanted them to write. So throughout the Bible, it gives stories of true events that actually happened. The Bible being salvation history and being a love story between God and creation kind of go together. So uh, the salvation history begins with Adam and Eve and the fall of men in the Garden of Eden. And then the story continues with the covenant of Noah, the covenant of Abraham, a covenant with Moses, a covenant with David, and the sixth covenant with Jesus Christ himself, which through him all people are saved. God has always had a plan for our salvation since the beginning of creation. The Bible tells us what we need to know in order to be saved. Uh, within the teachings of the church, one can be saved. The Holy Catholic Church was founded by Jesus Christ himself to keep the living tradition alive. Uh, Christianity is the religion of the Word of God found in the Bible. Throughout the whole Bible, from the Old Testament to the New Testament, uh, traditions can be prophesied from the Old Testament, and then those prophecies come true in the New Testament, uh, filled through Jesus Christ. Jesus himself was God, 100% God, and 100% man. And he was sent down not to condemn us, but to save us from our sins. And then so, in order to keep the tradition alive of his name, Jesus Christ, so that future generations can also be saved, he established the Catholic Church. Evidence of this can be found within Scripture from the Bread of Life Discord, the baptism of Jesus himself, uh, when he appears to the apostles after his resurrection and says, one second, let me look this up. Okay, so in John chapter 20, verse 19 through 23, uh, he appeared to the disciples. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them the hands 
and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord Jesus. He said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. So there was three um, quick evidences of Jesus giving us the sacraments. Um, we started with baptism, Eucharist, and reconciliation. Okay, so hopefully by the grace of God, I've been able to teach you a little bit more about the Bible and if you don't didn't know what the Bible was before this now you do it is the truth of salvation the written word of God and the way of the world like it is a gold mine written in a book now actually it's better than that it's the word of God I just wanted to share it with you guys and kind of give you a little insight on the Bible and how reading, or not necessarily reading scripture, but praying with, excuse me, but praying with scripture can change your life and lead you to salvation um, through Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the greatest love story ever told is in the shape of a cross. The Father sent his Son down to save the world, and they are connected through the Holy Spirit, which is love itself. So with that, God bless you all, and I hope you learned something new.